Cody Fascio, and I'm just hanging here. How y'all doing? But today, we are gonna be reacting. We are gonna go through my looks for the past nine years, eight years of my career. They compiled a uh, few of my looks. Di ko po alam ko ano nang dito, but we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna pick my top three, and we're just gonna talk about it. Let's do it. First one. You know I get made fun of for this? I was just so dark. I was so, you can see the difference between my eyelids and the rest of my skin. I've never been this tan in my life ever again. After this day, I was like, nope. Never happening again. But my friends love me tan. Kyle loves it when I'm tan, same as Darren. So whenever they show me, whenever they say, oh, we miss Dance Kids AC, this is the Dance Kids AC that they miss. This tan girl, which will never happen again. Even this hairstyle will never happen again for me. I realize things just aren't for me. This hairstyle must. Numalapad yung ano ko, yung <laughs> forehead ko, pagalito yung hairstyle. So, yun, this will never happen again. Um, this lipstick, also a no. Pale pink? What am I, sick? <laughs> I'm not sick. <laughs> I realized what's not for my face and what is for my face. My face, I have gone through a lot of makeup artists and my face changes very easily with a little bit. If you put my eyebrows too dark, I look like a completely different person. Contour, if there's too much contour, I look like a different person. I can change very easily. So I only work with specific um, types of makeup and makeup artists because my skin is very moody also. <laughs> my earrings here were, I thought it was so cool. I thought I was punk rock. Alam mo yung earrings na parang mahaba pa siya sa likod. Ayo pa ni mami yun nun eh. She was like, ano yan, blah, blah, blah. But I loved it. I loved it. So those are my earrings. Yung parang. Yung parang ang laki ng piercing mo, that one, I thought it was so cool. And then my outfit, wala eh, kailangan ko mag-adjust kay Lucky during that time. Pag girl and guy kasi, it's easier for a girl to adjust to guy clothes, obviously, rather than Lucky wearing crop tops and skirts and all of that. But it was okay because I was very boyish during that time. And this top we bought in Vegas, na customized pa to to have our names and then in the back it says Lucky Aces and our coach had the same top for him the man that said his name and like Lucky Aces on it. This was my first look on Dance Kids. First ever sa Filipino ABS-CBN TFC TV. That's AC Bonifacio. Next. This was at a Filipino community event because in Vancouver, the Filipino community is very, very close. So, pag Independence Day, everybody gathers together, and George is like the main photographer all the time. He's, he's done all of my photos. He probably has a bunch of photos of me. He could probably <laughs> expose me, but thank you, George. You are so kind. Um, but this photo, I like the photo. Good pose, good quality photo. But the photo, but the person in the photo. <laughs> I don't really like the person in the photo. First of all, I think this was the one of the few times na ako lang nag, nag makeup sa sarili ko. Cause mom usually would do my makeup in Canada, but I was like, no mom, I can do it myself. The eyeliner is so thick. Hindi pa ako marunong mag nose contour. Look how big my nose is. Uh, eyebrows, nothing. Walang foundation, foundation. I just literally wore eyeliner, mascara, and some lipstick. The side part is a no. I never did a side part. It's like, it was like, like this. That's so gross. I never did a side part like that again. Um, I thought it was cool because my hair, this was the first time my hair was dyed. The mom let me dye my hair. The must lighter. Parang I had highlights. My mom let me for the first time. So, yeah. This jacket was my favorite jacket in the world. I wore it in school every single day. It was like during autumn season. Everybody was wearing that jacket. So, I was wearing it too. Okay, next. Ellen, Ellen, for some reason, Ellen was before Dance Kids, but I like my Ellen look more than my Dance Kids look. The Ellen people did my makeup. US TV, as much as possible, they want no makeup. As Like the younger you are, the less makeup they want on you. So they just put like blush on me and some concealer and some mascara. So I look like regular me. Um, my hair, I actually really like my hair here. 
But I would never do that hair again. Because again, the airport. <laughs> kitang kita pag ganon eh. Pag naka ganon ako, kitang kita. So there's specific hairstyles that work for me now. I like this outfit. We are wearing, these were my first ever um, Jordans. Where I started to learn that Jordans were actually very, very cool. These were my Oreos. Um, I still have them. They're in Canada. They don't fit me anymore though. But this was a chill outfit. Lucky Aces customized shirt. And then just a plaid t-shirt on top that I would also wear to school. So it was chill. Look how tall I am compared to Lucky. Next! Okay, my look for Ariana Grande. I wanted to dress up, but they said no. So we had to wear the same Lucky Aces shirt that we wore on the Ellen show. But we had a few of these shirts, so it wasn't... It wasn't the same shirt we wore on the show, don't worry. It wasn't sweaty or anything. My hair, I did the half up, half down specifically for Ariana Grande because during that time, that was her famous look um, that everybody called it the Ariana look. There's a video of me going, oh, I did this hair because it's your hair. And she's like, oh my god, you're so cute. And then we did like a flip. Um, it was so cool. She was so cool. We were walking, we were walking to the stage together. And I was like, I did this hair because of you. She was like, oh my god, you're so cute. And then she kissed three. She's, she likes to kiss people. She kissed everyone. <laughs> she kissed everyone. But she was so, she was just so nice. These VIP ba badges were specifically made for us and bedazzled for us. Next, your face sounds familiar times. I'm actually not mad. So they like to keep my youth there. So I was always wearing dresses, like cute dresses. I was called the dancing sweetheart. So I was always in like sweet, cute dresses. I'm not mad. I'm not mad about this look. I don't like my hair because it's the side part again. But my makeup I really liked because it was just clean and like glowy and like hindi pa trending nun yung glass skin but it was very glass skin and I would barely wear makeup then. Tapos naka shoes pa ako like I wasn't wearing any heels. This was chill. Look at this photo. I'm the tallest in this photo. I am the tallest and now I'm sure that Sam is taller than me. I'm sure Justin is taller than me. But I was the ate of the group. You know, like when you're the ate of the group, you kind of have to be like the role model of everyone. Oh. So like Sia would put on makeup whenever I was putting on makeup. She would put on the same makeup as me. Yeah, it was, it was chill. It was light. I was still considered a kid here. Next. Oh, my Sandara look. I actually really like this look. This was my Sandara Park look for um, your face sounds familiar, but I really liked it. So naka wig ako, and because naka wet look si Ate Sandara nun, they had a spray bottle ready for me, spraying my hair like every five minutes to keep it wet. So it was dripping on my face too. My foundation, we had to make it like extra white and extra glowy. So naka highlighter ako on my whole face. But I really like this. I like this performance. I like the dance. The outfit was just a long white t-shirt. So it was really chill. I think this was one of my easiest looks too out of all of your face. Because I'm not wearing prosthetics here. Makeup, makeup and wig. Lang ako. So I didn't have to worry. I didn't have to go there extra, extra early to wear prosthetics. Okay, this is once a day. This was with Aura. I liked myself here. I would do my own makeup. Na, and it was just super light. Lang, concealer, mascara. And then my hair was always just like in a braid or just out or naka pony, nothing crazy because it, it was a teleserie show. This was nice, this was so fun. Look at Aura, Aura looks like a baby oh. pa. Oh. Usually, naka casual lang kami na pajamas or school outfit lang talaga. So it was really chill. And my hair, I remember, naka ano pa ako dito. My hair was that light brown with highlights. E bawal pala yun sa school dito. You're not allowed to have highlights. When I went in for my look test, Direk said that I needed to have all black hair. So we went to the salon right away and said we wanted all black hair. But turns out that's really bad for your hair. You're not supposed to dye your hair all black. If you want to go one color, that but dark brown, ganon, but never black. I regretted dyeing my hair black because when I wanted to dye my hair lighter after the show, they said I couldn't unless I wanted to damage my hair full bleach. This was, uh, it was alamat ng bubblegum yung sa amin. Um, Bella and I were the leads, 
This was really fun. This was a really fun shoot. I was with a bunch of girls. We were just screaming the whole time because it was a horror show-ish. And Belle, I love Belle. We've worked together so many times before this spa. This was fun. I liked my look here. It was very cute, cute lang with pigtails. Naka uniform ulit ako. Lagi ako naka uniform. This was Asap Chill Out. Nung may Asap Chill Out pa. Remember, this is Kuya Matt. Everybody, if you know Kuya Matt Nicholas, he was my Adobers manager during that time, and he was giving me my my 100k silver play button. It's chill. I think I was getting styled by Kuya Mark during this time. I was still doing my own makeup. Uh, for Asap was just me and then hair was usually in-house. So I, I started to like my... This is when I was starting to figure myself out. I upload na ako sa Instagram na mga fierce, fierce photos ko. So I like this. No regrets here. My how you like that look? Oh my god. Uh, this obviously I loved it so much because this was the video where I won second place. It was chill. This was chill. Adeline did my makeup, who I love. She was my very, very first makeup artist. She knows how to do my skin. Talaga. Kuy MJ did my hair. Um, it, it was really good because he copied exactly the hair of Blackpink. And this one, we kind of struggled with because I gusto ko talaga gawin yung blonde bangs ni um, Jenny, which I didn't have. So he put extensions. And hindi siya halata, so it really worked out well. Atenasha was my styling during that time because it was pandemic it was literally during pandemic time so it was hard um for, pe for hard to book hard to get clothes hard for all of that um but we made it work we collabed on the looks to make it look like what blackpink was wearing and it worked this whole thing was by chapters we were in one building and just four different sets we would run around the sets with each look Natapos na kami dito mga 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., something like that. We always finish our dance covers very late. But I love my looks here. This is almost paradise. This is almost paradise. I was the mini me, me, Kai Mendoza. I was mini Kai Mendoza. This is a really cool show. You guys should go watch it if you haven't seen it. Iyak na naman ako, funeral na naman. I was drained. Oh my God, because the whole day, I was just crying. And then I realized when I watched the show, lahat ng good takes ko ng iyak were all wide shots. So by the time it was a close-up shot, wala na hong tears na lumalabas. But it was fun. It was it was super fun. Um, um, I liked my look here because it was just comfortable and I got to wear like a lot of bracelets. And we tried to do a look test because Ate Samantha is very tan and I'm very white. So we tried to do a look test where we like painted my body darker but it did not work out. So they said, AC, you have two days to get darker. Nasa Cebu tayo, go to the beach, get darker. Do you remember? I went to the beach, did not get darker. So we had to go back to our painting of the body so that I could be the same shade as Ate Sam. In edit nila na parang blue kasi flashback siya. So hindi din nakita yung tan ko. It was cool to be part of that show. It was a very cool cast and we did like a whole like first watch episode in Cebu with like the main characters and everyone, all the staff, all everyone. It was so cool. So I had a good time taping then. This is Riverdale! I like my hair. They were very collaborative with everything. So I said, I want my hair out of my face, but my hair needed to be down. She did that braid, which I really like. My makeup, you come on to set with your foundation and concealer on. So we did not have worries with my shade. And she did my eyebrows and eyeshadow and all of that and it was super nice. Super natural again because I was a high school student here. The only thing I didn't like about this were my shorts. Because I don't wear shorts like that, ever. I don't wear short shorts like that. But it was fine. I danced with Madeline, so it was good. We did so many fittings to make sure it was the right pair of shorts, right pair of um, top. And my choker, like up to the choker, we tried so many different chokers. Um, and my shoes and my socks and everything. It was so cool. It was a good experience. I like my look here. I would wear it again now with pants. My Lyric and Beat looks, all right. My Lyric and Beat looks, I did my own makeup all the time. My hair was always curled, so every morning I would have to go and get my hair curled. Aside from the uniform and like our costumes for the prods, my clothes were usually my own clothes, so I was very comfortable. And I was around like all my friends, so everything was chill. It was like I was just hanging out. 
every single day. Next is my looks on Girl on Fire. I loved doing Girl on Fire. It was the first time in my life na kailangan ko magready every single day. It was tiring, but it was so fun. Auntie Tin would always be there to do my hair, so I wouldn't have to stress about my hair. My outfits were all me, and parang it's the first time that I really got to show off my own style on TV. Because usually I'm getting styled by Auntie Aika. I would do my own makeup. I learned a lot about myself doing my own makeup every single day, and I learned what I like and what I don't like. It was nice to learn how to do my makeup on on TV. Because it's different looks on TV versus personal lang. Last but not least, my most recent ASAP. I very, very, very much like my look here. Uh, of course, I uploaded it. This was my full glam team. This was Ate Tin, Ate Karel, and Ate Aika. And Ate Aika recently came back from Japan, so she had a lot of new clothes, which is the diesel top. Um, and I was very comfortable. Being in all black, I like all black, and just wearing pants and a t-shirt and gloves, and my hair in a ponytail. And my makeup just being so Korean, Korean. It was very, very comfortable. So, obviously, number one is my most recent ASAP. Number one, to number two is Girl on Fire. I loved all my looks on Girl on Fire. And number three is How You Like That for sure. Those are my top three. And that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your guys' top three is. Just don't include the dance kids, or I will block you. <laughs> I'm just joking. But let me know what your top three looks are. Even if it's not from here, let me know what you guys like. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys next week. Bye.